Hi, Todd Warren here in the Forecast Center with a forecast update for the Oracle Techs taking us through this weekend and all of next week and next weekend. It looks like a couple of rounds of changes on the way. The first will be a good change as we're finally going to get rid of all the rain and get some drier air in here. You can see the rain decreasing over the eastern half of the Oracle Techs. Do have a few scattered showers along the frontal system developing as expected over the northern parts of the Oracle Techs. This activity will continue to develop and gradually spread to the south before ending later on this evening. As far as the overall weather pattern, big upper level low, which is now digging into the Great Lakes, responsible for the uh, drier air that's going to filter into the Arklatex. And then we're going to have to watch the Gulf of Mexico. It's looking uh, quite promising that we will see uh, maybe a little bit of a disturbance develop over the western Gulf of Mexico, and that tropical moisture is going to spread towards the Arklatex as we go into the middle part of next week. More on that in a second. Meantime, let's talk about the dry stuff first. As you can see, the scattered showers gradually winding down over the northern half of the area this evening. The clouds will decrease during the nighttime hours tonight. We'll see kind of a mix of lots of sunshine and a few clouds tomorrow. Touch on the windy side as well with a northeast wind at right around 15 miles per hour. We will see gusts of 20 to 25. More on that in a second. You can see the clear sky tomorrow night as temperatures will dip into the 50s and low 60s. And then Sunday, we close the weekend with another breezy northeasterly wind and daytime highs under a sunny sky in the mid 80s. You will notice the drop in the humidity across the Arklatex as we go through uh, tomorrow and especially on Sunday and Monday. That being said, we will stay clear Sunday night. Temperature Sunday night pretty much area wide will dip into the 50s and then we'll start to see that moisture return. The reason for the drier air moving in, that rather stout northeasterly wind, this is a look at wind gusts tomorrow. And you can see as we go into the afternoon, those gusts likely will exceed 20 miles per hour in spots. So it's been a while since we've had a very windy day. It looks like uh, we have the potential for some gusty winds on your Saturday. Meantime, in the tropics, uh, several areas that the Hurricane Center is watching. The main concern is going to be a disturbance which is possibly going to develop over the western Gulf of Mexico. Models are indicating that we will see some of this tropical moisture uh, move into our area. So there's that upper level low over the Great Lakes lifting out. As that moves off towards the northeast, you can see that big plume of rain moving into southeast Texas uh, as we move into the middle of the work week. And we'll see several days where the chance for scattered showers and thunderstorms will be possible. This model clears that rich tropical moisture out fairly quickly, but others do keep at least some chance of rain in our forecast uh, through next weekend. And if you add up all the rain, uh, again, it looks like above normal rainfall is on the way, as, uh, at least for most of the area. Northern parts of the Arklatex, half an inch to an inch. Could see an inch, inch and a half in Texarkana, two, two and a half inches in Shreveport, and more than four inches will be possible over the southeastern sections of the area. Now, keep in mind there's still some uncertainty as to the exact uh, strength and uh, location and route that, that tropical disturbance could take. If it moves a little bit fur further to the east, obviously these numbers will go down a bit, and if it moves further to the west, they will go up a bit, but some, that's something we're going to have to watch very closely as we move through this weekend and especially for the middle part of next week. So your forecast for tonight, look for any rain to end. We will see the clouds begin to decrease with lows dipping into the low to middle 60s over the northern sections of the area. 65 tonight in uh, Texarkana, 70 in Shreveport, 67 in Minden. Tomorrow a nice start to the weekend. We'll see lots of sunshine. It'll be rather breezy if not windy. And warm highs will be in the uh, upper 70s, low 80s across the north. How about 77 in Hope, 82 in Texarkana, 85 degrees for the high tomorrow in Shreveport. And your 10-day forecast shows that we will likely stay in the 80s through pretty much all of next week for daytime highs. Overnight lows, again, pretty close to 60. Saturday and Sunday night should return to the low 70s by the time we get to the middle of the week. So again, it looks like a dry and pleasant weekend for the Arklatex with the potential for some heavy rain returning to the Arklatex by the middle part of next week.